Defensive backs beware, for even if you get two hands on the ball, it still might be his. Fresh off an all-time performance in which he basically willed his team to victory with incredible catch after incredible catch, the Gritty Master is now on pace for 2,000 receiving yards and a third All-Pro selection in just three years. Under former Rams offensive coordinator and first-time head coach Kevin O'Connell, Jefferson has stepped his game up to the next level, being deployed all across the offense, maximizing his incredible athletic abilities. Last year, O'Connell helped coach Cooper Cup to his record-breaking season at wide receiver, and he's now doing the exact same for Jefferson, with the same philosophy. When you've got a dynamic threat and someone who can basically out-athlete even NFL athletes, the plan is usually quite simple. Get them the rock. It seems a little simplistic, but many coaches, even at the top level, fail to get their star players consistent touches and opportunities to flip the game. O'Connell always gives Jefferson the chance to make an impact by making sure that feeding him the ball is a top priority. This can be as simple as a tunnel screen RPO. Cousins is just reading the numbers, and with the corner blitz coming, he rightfully fires this to Jefferson. Not content with leaving his third and short, JJ lowers his shoulder and bullies his way for the first. They love to bring him against the grain of formation, aiming to leave him wide open in the flats. This play design will be familiar to anyone who's watched the Rams over the last few years, and guarantees an easy catch for Jefferson. Lined up on the far left, Jefferson will come in motion with Cousins snapping it when Justin is passing him, dashing out into the flat as Thielen and 84 drive their routes infield to drag away the coverage. Usually, they'd play action here too, but with the condensed field, they need to hit this early. So Cousins runs just a five-step drop and a slight hesitation from Stokes leaves an easy pitch and catch and an untouched stroll into the end zone. And of course, a gritty. Here's a twist on the tunnel screen that we really like with Irv Smith coming in motion and Jefferson lined up in the slot rather than outside. Smith will pick Jefferson's man and with the aggressive rush nature of Miami, the line can release straight, giving Jefferson a wall of blocks into center field. And here's the twist of the motion play. Jefferson will start as the outside receiver in a bunch before motioning across and watch Marshawn Lattimore call out to Tyron Matthew to switch this, a common tactic used to defend these motions, with Lattimore rolling to become the single high. However, even if he had reacted earlier, Matthew had a great blocker in Thielen aiming straight at him off the pseudo slant, leaving Marcus Davenport as the sole backside when Cousins hands it off. Now that's a mismatch. Now, as you've seen with the use of motion, receivers never stay in one spot in the McVay slash O'Connell system, moving pieces around the chessboard to create unfair matchups and exploit the open space. Receivers are often moved to the slot when hunting mismatches, and JJ is no different. However, with changes in base defense to more nickel and dime, this is no longer the advantage that it once was. Countering the counter, O'Connell puts JJ on the inside slot, and with linebacker TJ Edwards, Jefferson's closest coverage man, this is almost certainly a zone. JJ knows how to find the space, quick pivoting into it, and it's an easy six yards. The two high shell has been a league-wide trend with defenses trying to make QBs stay patient and check everything down. So having someone who understands space like Jefferson makes Cousins' life so much easier. The Bears are in a cover four here with solo lock on the single side and Jefferson is in the slot at the top of your screen, heading up the bunch. Reading before the snap, JJ knows this is either man or cover four, and if the DB stays inside, the whole flat is open. With Kyler Gordon staying put, Jefferson doesn't so much run a route as turn around in the space and then lowers his shoulder to get three more. Once again, Jefferson will come in motion, and with no one following him, the Packers cover four is clear as day. In the slot, he's essentially matched up with Preston Smith on an option route. And, well, good luck with that one. Having coached against the cover six in practice for two years and hiring Ed Donatel to run the system for the defense, you know O'Connell has drawn up plays to beat it. Pausing after the snap, look at how the Packers have the far side essentially split into a box coverage, with each defender assigned a quarter. Jefferson will first come in motion from bunch to form the stack, and with only the backer shifting, Cousins knows they just flipped the zone, and this is on. Cook will fly to the flat, not allowing Quay Walker to get depth and disrupt. Irv Smith will run hard at Eric Stokes, trying to bully him at the breakpoint, forcing the coverage, 
and Jefferson will angle inside, setting up Amos with the shimmy to guarantee outside leverage before breaking on his favored corner into the wide space. It's a phenomenal catch, but he only gets one toe in. Moving Jefferson to the inside also enables him to have more space to attack the defense vertically and stretch the field. And here, by moving him to the inside slot, they can still create acres of space despite the slow designed stutter release pig play. Great job by Thielen to immediately burst out of the shimmy to signal he's not blocking, and Jefferson's Jets get him multiple yards of separation into the space and up the sideline. Again, the slot gets him a favorable matchup against safety Isaiah Simmons, and they'll even shade the free safety over the top of Jefferson, yet he loses them both with just 10 steps. The threat of this fantastic corner route has both defenders drifting to cover it, and a hard cut back to the post leaves him wide open. And much like he did with Cup, O'Connell has also moved Justin Jefferson into the backfield, again with the aim of exploiting mismatches in space. Here, he motions to make it a split backs formation, practically guaranteeing the matchup with linebacker Pete Warner. It's an option route out of the backfield, but Jefferson wastes no time stuttering and slowing his momentum, speed cutting to the boundary space for another easy completion. And here, the alignment really scrambles the Bears as they struggle to get lined up in the correct position, leaving Dalvin Cook on mark for a second. They scramble to match up, and a quick shot to the flat has Jefferson outflanking the chaos. Outstanding job to get this over the pylon, too. With all the talk of attacking space and zone and moving around the offense to collect extra touches, we've not talked about perhaps Jefferson's best position as a true X receiver. Giving him one-on-one -on, -one on the outside is honestly asking for trouble. He slows the release before jumping as if he's going to split release, only to stab his left foot into the turf and gallop north. He only needs a step, and Cousins drops in a beauty for six. Too easy. He runs the corner to near perfection, but his dig route might be even better. Watch him cross Eric Stokes up here with the hard jab outside to sell the boundary. Crossing his face and dipping and ripping with his right arm, not allowing Stokes to grab and slow his momentum. He makes sure to push his stem hard vertical to sell the deep ball, before cutting 90 to the open spot, right into a perfectly timed ball by Cousins. You can see DBs waiting on these routes on film, and when Kyler Gordon here drops to cut that corner ready for Jefferson to break on the dig, the Vikings call a deep out, and Jefferson has no problem directing his cut the other way again leaving him wide open. His ability to carve his way open and know how to read defenses makes him a special player, but what really elevates him to superstar status is even if the route gets smothered and even if the defense is perfect, he's still open. Here against the commanders, Jefferson is lined up in man against St. Just in the red zone and is going to try to run a corner and beat him to the back pylon. 25 does a great job to never give up the outside contain riding Jefferson's hip throughout the route and marking him as tight as possible without giving him a hug. Kirk knows JJ is never really covered though, throwing a dime high back shoulder to give him a chance and Jefferson rises up to the highest possible point to catch this, with the DB draped all over him. No matter how tight the coverage, Jefferson knows how to secure the reception. Back to the slot this time for 18, and again the outside contain gets shut off on this corner route but Cousins trusts his boy on third and long. He does his best to sell that inside route, but Antonio Hamilton never bites, staying on Jefferson's outside hip the whole way. Kirk misses the open cook, but anything close and it's Jefferson's ball, as he rips it out of the sky to move the chains. Hey, that's a grown man's catch. And we've saved the best for last, the catch that's a contender for the greatest of all time. Lined up in the slot, it's 4th and 18 with only 2 minutes on the clock and down by 4. This is the equivalent of a Hail Mary, and who else do you go to when you need someone to step up? Running a deep corner from the slot, Jefferson is going to try to attack the space in the deep dropping zone, with Thielen running a deep spot to try to drag down help. The route combo works, but this is 4th and 18, so it's always going to be contested and Cousins sails this too high, resulting in Bills DB Cam Lewis getting two hands on the ball, seemingly securing the interception and ending the game. But no, in a ludicrous turn of events, Justin Jefferson somehow manages to pry the ball away from Lewis and complete the catch for the first down. 
and he does it with only one hand. In the air? That shouldn't even be possible. Kevin O'Connell has taken what he learned at the Rams and used it to turbocharge Justin Jefferson. There are very few threats that truly need to be accounted for on every single down. But Jefferson is one of them. And whenever you have a superstar like him, you've got a chance to win. The only question is, can Kirk Cousins keep up the sizzling play when the lights get bright? We shall see. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out how Mike McDaniel is using Tyreek Hill? Or how Jefferson's role mirrors Cups in last year's Rams offense? Take care.